good morning students so the next we are going to learn about gene therapy what is meant by gene therapy gene therapy is a corrective therapy to correct or treat hereditary diseases so what it is it's a corrective therapy to correct or treat hereditary diseases a or we can tell a gene defect diagnosed in a child or in a embryo then what is the method in this what uh, method we adopted in this gene therapy here were the genes inserted into cells and tissues to treat disease so to what we will do here the genes inserted into cells and tissues to treat disease so what is the principle of gene therapy the principle of gene therapy means normal gene when get inserted into individual cell or embryo with gene defect that normal gene will take over the function of and compensate for the non functional gene so what is the principle normal gene when get inserted into individual cell or embryo with a gene defect the normal gene will take over the function of or we can tell compensate for the non functional g the first clinical gene therapy it is done in 1990 to four year old girl with adenosine deaminase deficiency ada what is the form of form of ada adenosine deaminase deficiency so what is meant by this adenosine deaminase deficiency or ada i'll tell you ada means adenosine deaminase deficiency is an inherited disorder that damages the immune system and causes severe combined immunodeficiency or we will tell skid short form is scid skid what is the full form severe combined immunodeficiency people with skid lack virtually all immune protection from bacteria viruses and fungi etc that is called ada or adenosine deaminase deficiency so first clinical gene therapy i told it was done in 1990 to a 4 year old girl with this uh, disease which is a disease ada or adenosine deaminase deficiency for how they will treat it first day initially they will be treating the bone marrow transplantation or by enzyme replacement therapy so in two methods they can do bone marrow transplantation or by enzyme replacement therapy but we can't tell it's a completely cured it may cure okay it's not fully cured sometime the next is method to treat ada through gene therapy what is the method to treat ada through gene therapy ada deficiency disorder it is a hereditary disorder i told already hereditary disorder caused due to deletion of gene for adenosine deaminase so why it is happening it is caused due to deletion of gene for adenosine deaminase what is this the adenosine deaminase enzyme adenosine deaminase crucial for immune system function so it's an enzyme it's crucial for immune system function so in gene therapy lymphocytes lymphocytes means wbc or white blood cells okay lymphocytes are a type of white blood cell they play an important role in your immune system helping your body fight off infection so in gene therapy lymphocytes from blood of patients are isolated and grown in culture medium so what they will do first in this wbc or lymphocytes i told it's a type of white blood cell it is isolated from the patients and grown in culture medium then this functional ada or cdna what is cdna cdna full name full name full form is complementary dna complementary dna or cdna is a dna synthesized from a single stranded rna it is a dna synthesized from single stranded rna or mrna you can tell so this functional ada cdn cdna introduced into lymphocytes through retroviral vector 
and return to patients. Since lymphocytes have short lifespan, genetically engineered lymphocytes are periodically introduced into patients. So it has a short lifespan. So what we should do? This genetically engineered lymphocytes are periodically introduced into patients. But if gene isolated from marrow cells producing ADA introduced into cells in embryonic stage, that is a permanent cure. So if we, we are doing in a embryo stage, that will be a permanent cure. So what it is doing in a, uh, this embryonic stage, the gene isolated from bone marrow cells producing ADA introduced into cells in embryo stage or embryonic stage, it will be a permanent cure. Sure, clear. So here you can see what are the steps of the gene therapy. The first step you can see first, cells harvested from patient. So you can read here one, two, three, four, the step by step they have given here. First one is cells harvested from patient. Second, in lab, virus altered, so cannot reproduce. So second you can see in lab, virus altered, so cannot reproduce. Third step you see, a gene is inserted into the virus. You can see third step, gene is inserted into virus. Then fourth, now altered virus mixed with patient cells. Now the virus is now it's an altered form. This altered virus mixed with patient's cell. Again, fifth step, cells become genetically altered. So this altered virus mixed with patient cell. So what will happen? Cells, patient cells become genetically altered. Sixth, this altered cells injected into patient's body. You can see in the figure, altered cells injected into patient's body. So seventh step, altered cells produce desired protein. So now we made changes in this. So this altered cells produce desired protein. So that is the steps of the different steps of gene therapy. Clear? So which are the different steps of gene therapy? First, cells harvested from patient. Second, in lab, virus altered, so cannot reproduce. Third, a gene is inserted into the virus. Fourth, altered virus mixed with patient cells. Fifth, cells become genetically altered. Sixth, altered cells injected into patient's body. Seventh, altered cells produce desired protein. So the, these are the different steps of gene therapy.